Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my March favorites and it's still March technically because it's the 31st, but tomorrow's the 1st of April. April Fool's Day. I don't know what my teachers are going to do, but there's kids outside and there's my sister and my dog. And yeah, so ooh, it's pretty chaotic right now. But well, let's get into the favorites. My first beauty favorite is something that I've I felt I feel like I've used a lot is my Maybelline color tattoo in Barely Branded. And if you don't know what this is, it's just a champagne cream shadow. And it's really nice. It is a nice face for any kind of look you do. And I'm really out of breath right now and I don't know why. <sighs> um, but Maybelline really needs to make matte ones just so they can like kind of compare to the MAC paint pots so I could do a review if I ever got a MAC paint pot. My next beauty favorite is like one of my all time favorite favorite mascaras. Oop, I dropped it. Um, but it's my Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. It's in, I have two. Um, this one is in very black and then I have black as black. But if you don't know what this is, it is just a mascara and it is a gel mousse formula. And it has like really cool bristles and they're like dispersed really cool really that's not a word but this makes your lashes really long and really voluminous and the packaging is like really really cute and i really like this on days that i'm feeling like oh well i don't wear this to school because that's just way too much like i'm not going there to impress anybody um but like i still want to look presentable i guess but if my skin's being really bad, like on the weekends or something, and I'm really bored, I'll put this on. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 210. I forget like the actual color name, but it just looks like this. And it's a little bit dark for me right now, but you know, I'm still pale from winter. And it is finally spring, so I will tan. So I don't have many makeup makeup favorites this month, but I do have some nail polishes. And these have been like my go-to nail polishes, right? Like right now and the first thing is a pure ice top coat this is top coat i don't know if it's like fast drying or anything but i've used about that much of it and it's really really awesome it makes your nails super shiny i'm wearing it right now you probably can't see but if it's shiny it's it's because of this i'm wearing all my nails right now this is the sally hansen hardest nail extreme wear in lacy lilac. This is just a really nice lavender lilac y color, and I really like this for springtime. And lilac and mint are like my favorite springtime colors, but I think I'm getting more into the lilac y purples. And lilac is now my second favorite color, and then mint is my third. Teal is my number one because it's amazing. Then this is another extreme wear nail polish. You can barely see like the label, but it is in Disco Ball, and it is just this holographic glitter. It is like the prettiest thing ever. I you probably can't see it. I don't know, but it is like so pretty, and it looks gorgeous on top of this. And I'm gonna tonight. I'm gonna put this on my uh what are these ring and thumb like ring finger and thumb and because this like the nail polish matches my dress for the eighth grade dance perfectly and how this sparkles is how the dress sparkles so i'm really excited about that so those are my favorite nail polishes so i actually have a favorite perfume this month and it is one that my mom gave me and it is the Mariah Carey Forever Perfume, and it's in this really, really pretty, like, diamond prism bottle, and it just looks like this, and it just has, like, the top, and it says Forever Mariah Carey, and I almost had this forever, but oh my goodness, it smells so good. Mm, it's like a very good scent, but sometimes it can be too strong, because every morning, my mom, like, chokes on it in the car, and I feel kind of bad. But it just looks like this, and it smells really good. It's kind of more of a mature scent, but it's a very nice one. And I like it. These last two beauty, make, not, not really makeup, but like beauty related products 
or favorites. Yeah, favorites. Um, I'm just gonna do this one. It is my Makeup Forever Sense Eyes Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. And it just really gets your eye makeup off and it comes with a pump and it like, looks like that. I mean, I don't open it and put it on, I just like pump it. And this is only $10 and I've had it since Christmas and it's down to here. So I think it, like, it lasted pretty long and this is like my new favorite eye makeup remover. My only hair care product favorite is this Garnier Fructis Hydra Recharge Moisture Web Leave-In Conditioner and this speaks to my hair like so soft. Like, like really really soft. And it's like a, a mousse. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a mousse right there. And um, I can't find this anywhere. Maybe it's on Amazon. Maybe. But I really, really like this. And I got to really, really like it. And I really like Garnier Fructis. So I guess that's like my favorite hair care brand for the month. 